All right, we're doing another Door Fortress Let's Play. And uh, before we hop into this world, I'm actually going to put the population cap at uh, 14. Because sometimes you get these uh, immigrants, immigrant dwarfs, and, um, you know, you could get like 40 of them, and that's just way too much for me. So I'm going to have... That my seven starting dwarves, and then if we get some migration, it'll uh, limit it to seven dwarves. So we'll have 14 altogether. And to hit play, we're just going to hit play. And we're going to hit no, I open sound sense beforehand. All right, I'm going to create a new world, because honestly, I wasn't very happy with the last one. There was too much slopage, and I forgot to check some things. But again, we're going to do small, very short, uh, high, very high, very high, very high, and hit go with the Y button. I don't actually want the uh, music, so I'm going to turn that off. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this world and see what we got. We're going to hit start playing, Door Fortress. It's going to go through like a couple of weeks of Dorvern time. And now we're going to look around. Looks like this is a little deserty area. Let's check out where the volcano is at again, which is this red up key. So it looks like the volcano is right here. And we've got F1. F2, so there's actually something down in this corner here. I'm going to hit Shift and U to expand it. And again, I'm just using H, U, K, M to move it around. So if we start here with our expanded options, it'll be like that. And then we do have dwarves, humans, and elves as neighbors, but no goblins. So you know what? I'm going to hit shift and then M to make my uh, local region smaller. And I think I'm going to play on a beach says there is goblins here. You want to start with goblins so that because the game is, is a lot funner when you're being attacked and I don't really want to go to the to war with the elves or the humans. I think that you can go to war with the dwarves but I'm not entirely sure how that all works. Um, I want some savage tropical ocean. Untamed Wilds, that's what we want. So if I start here, there's no goblins. So I might have to go up here more. I'm hitting the tab key to shift through those. And it looks like all of this ocean is just wilderness. 
If it's untamed wild, so you can get stuff like giant creatures, which is definitely what we want. Okay, I think I might have found a nice sweet spot. We've got goblins, so that's good. Let's look at the uh, civilization. All right, so they're mostly in these mountains right here. And as far as elevation goes, it's relatively flat. It looks like there is some uh, mountain peaks. Um, let's see, we've got F2, F1. We've only got deep metals, so I'm going to keep looking. Just deep metals. This might be it. We've got F1, F2, and F3. Our only shallow metals are going to be underwater. And, uh, yeah, you know what? I think that this won't be so bad. Let's go ahead and hit embark and prepare for the journey carefully. Again, I'm going to look through these. We don't want someone flimsy being a miner, but this guy's tough and strong. Strong is good. I think it was this person. Nope, the one above it. So this is going to be our miner. Um, they like sheep. So we're going to go ahead and get some sheep real quick. Which are these ewes and rams. I'm going to just get one of each because they're 51 points each. I'm going to get rid of this wooden stuff, and one of these quivers. Get rid of the pigtail stuff. Get rid of the plump helmets, because they're four points each. We're bringing in an iron anvil again, so that's good, because the steel one costs 300, I do believe. We're only going to have one battle axe, but two picks. Now I'm going to add some more we're going to get some beer, get 20 of that. We're going to get our cave spider stuff again. Because it's cheaper than the pigtail stuff. But it still fills the same purpose. We're going to get some more lye this time, which is in miscellaneous. Get like three lye. Let's take another look at our dwarves. So this person likes sheep for their tendency to flock. Um, this person likes water buffalo hoof. So another thing that I forgot to do last time was give them some mugs. I'm going to look for water buff. And there's some water buffalo hoof goblets. So we're going to get one of those. This person likes oak wood. So let's see if there's an oak wood goblet. Nope. They also like gypsum. So let's see if there's a gypsum goblet, or a gypsum mug. And because these dwarves like these things, I'm pretty sure that when they drink out of them, they get a mood bonus. 
This person like this is the water buffalo hoof guy. This person likes horses. So I'm going to go ahead and bring some horses along. And uh, dwarves can't ride horses. So they're really just for meat. You can't shear them. You can't milk them, I don't think. Um, horse milk, that would be interesting. But I'm going to bring just one... Just one horse. And because they like horses, uh, you can give them a horse mug goblet cup. I'm just going to make it out of horse bone. This person likes chert. So it looks like there is some wooden ones that we can bring along. There wasn't any shirt. So we could get some tin. Oh, this person likes turkeys. Tin goblet. And we'll bring along some turkeys. Let's see, uh, turkeys are actually the best bird in the game for egg laying. They lay pretty big eggs, and they lay a lot of them. I'm going to get like four turkeys and a gobbler. So four hens and a gobbler. This person likes cows. So that's pretty cool. We can get some cows. Get one cow. And now eh, we'll just start with one cow. And we'll also get a cow. That's good, a cow horn goblet. This person likes iron, rhinoceros, giant rhinoceros horn. This person likes geese, so we'll go ahead and get a goose. We'll get a female goose. person likes sheep wool. They like bins and crowns. So I'm going to make this person our carpenter. And uh, let's go ahead and make them our, our stone crafter and our wood crafter and our bone carver. Uh, get a mason. Also be a building designer. We'll make this person our herbalist and our brewer. Make them proficient at brewing. Actually, let's not make them the herbalist. They'll just be a really good brewer. This person will make our herbalist and a proficient grower. This person will make a brewer. I don't think I have any other brewers. Oh no, I did already get a brewer. So we'll make them a butcher, a tanner, a milker, a cheesemaker, shearer, and spinner. This 
This person will make a soaper and a lie maker. We'll also make them a fish cleaner. Who's this person? Okay. And we'll give him some doctor skills. Make them a competent diagnostician. It makes sense that the doctor also makes soap and cleans fish just because why not? Let's see if there's anything else I'm forgetting. Um, we could go with some more seeds. Get like 15 of each. I'm just hitting the shift key and then the plus symbol. We'll go with low rock nuts and low dimple cup spawn again. So we've still got 176 points to play with. Um, also get some cats. This time we'll go with four cats. Two males, two females. And we've still got 132 points. So let's go get ahead and get that bowl. No, it's a, it's uh, too much. It's 151. So we could put back some of this alcohol. Because I'm going to get alcohol production up immediately. There we got our bowl. And uh, why don't we just do one more cave wheat seeds. We're going to name it Moss Mind. I like that. That was with the F key. Now we'll do the G key. Shifted G key, so it's uppercase. The Fortunate Dies of Delight. I like that too. And then for the symbol, we're going to go Creature with Enter key. And type in... No, wait. First hit F, and then type in Giant Octo. we'll have another giant octopus, just one of them. And then we'll hit Y, or wait, change name, the rough tower. I like that. And then hit Y to be done. And that's that. Let's go ahead and hit the E key to embark. Welcome to our new home! Ere the cougar men get hungry. A new chapter of Dorvan history begins here at this place. Daro Sava's Moss Mind. Strike the Earth. Now I'll hit Escape Key. And they're going to start out right here on this beach. So right, right away we've got a lot more flat lands to play with. I like keeping things kind of flat because it can be annoying to uh, like move up and down all these spaces. Oh yeah, this is way flatter. I wonder if there's even anything up this way. These trees are pretty tall. Looks like we just pretty much have the two elevations. I'll even go down one more, which is just the ocean. So that's pretty cool. We've we've got two levels to play with. I think what I'm gonna do is the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit D and then Z to remove upstairs and ramps. 
because all these little triangles you see here, these are all ramps because the earth kind of ramps up to other earth and creatures can climb up and down it and uh, go to the same level that the ramps are on. I'm going to hit enter key and I'm going to hit shift and go across here. Select this entire region. The uh, ramps on the very edge of the screen you can't do anything about because you can't remove or do anything on the very edge of the screen. And we'll also hit H for a channel. And I think we'll channel out this area right here. I'm going to unpause it. I'm going to hit the T key in the designations and designate all of these trees to be cut down. By the way, cutting down trees makes dwarves very unhappy. Looks like we've got some sort of creature here. We've got a crab. So that's interesting. If I hit the U key, it'll tell us in this other tab that there's some badgers and there's a crab. It's this uh, tab shows us all of the animals that we have. Looks like we started out with um, an extra water. No, wait, we started out with two water buffalo cows. Those were the ones that were pulling our wagon. And we'll go ahead and designate like this area to be our pen and pasture. We'll hit N to select that and then capital N. And then we can go through all of these different options. And we'll put everything into here except for the cats. You want the cats to roam around so they'll kill little creatures. Like mice. Because you can get mice's... M mices? <laughs> you can get mice. Hit the escape key. Escape key again. And the doors will start taking all of the animals. And leading them to that pasture. Putting away some chickens. Or no, those are the turkeys. Looks like we've still got a goose and the two turkeys. And the cats are just kind of following around the dwarves. Let's hit the, uh, I think it's the Z key. and put up some of these animals for adoption. Put one of the water buffaloes, one of the turkeys, the goose, the ram, the bull, the horse. Hit the escape key, escape key again. And then we'll already go back to the animals tab. Looks like somebody has adopted the horse. So now the horse is somebody's pet. And we'll go back there again. Looks like uh, the bull is somebody's pet, the ram is somebody's pet, the turkey is somebody's pet. Nobody's taken the goose and the water buffaloes yet. But maybe they will in a second here. What is that roaming around? There was like some worm on the ground or something. Probably from the birds. Let's see if I can find it again. I just saw, oh, there we go. So I paused it. 
And this little thing roaming around, yep, it's a worm. You can see it kind of squirming back and forth. So that's what our birds eat. They basically, wherever you have the birds, they like scratch at the ground and make those things appear and then they eat them. Oh, something is fighting. Let's look at... Let's hit R. Badger boar is fighting. Badger boar has become enraged. The badger boar attacks the expedition leader, but he jumps away. The expedition leader grabs the badger boar by the second left rear toe with his left hand and punches it in the left leg. The badger boar scratches the expedition leader in the lower left leg, bruising the fat through the llama leather robe. So right away we've got some uh, got some stuff going on. Let's see. Expedition leader punches the badger boar in the neck with his right hand, and the injured part is smashed into the body, an unrecognizable mess. An artery has been opened by the attack. The badger boar falls over, releases its grip, and it's no longer enraged. Let's see where this is happening by hitting Z key. So here is this badger boar that's going to die now because it has no neck. We can hit the enter key to look at him. His neck is torn open. His neck is bruised. Uh, his paw is cut open. His paw is bruised. His head is cut open. His left rear leg is cut open. All right, so that that guy is toast. It's gonna just bleed out. Let's see how our minor dwarf is doing. So he's cut away a lot of these ramps. Oh yeah, he's getting rid of all those ramps. Let's see about our trees. Let's see, what is the carpenter doing? I don't think I ever made any of them be a, uh, a woodcutter, um, like a tree killer, or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to hit P on this carpenter, and then L for labor. And hit the plus key, go to woodworking, and we will go down to woodcutting and enable that. Um, we'll also enable crossbow making. And hit escape, hit escape again. I want to make somebody a fisher. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this diagnoser. Uh, go down to fishing and related and enable fishing and we'll say that the fishing spot with I is here and we'll hit F for fishing. Other thing I want to do is take a look at the trees so this is a plum tree this is an apple tree so we'll make this area into a gather pick fruit. Let's see what these trees with the white on them are. That's a these are willows. So that's not much. We've got some alder branches. I'm not sure if alder has stuff that uh, you can eat. But again, we've got some apple and plum, some bayberry, some walnut, another apple. So, oh, those are ones that are going to cut down, though. So let's look at these trees. Almond, pear, sand pear, alder, plum, pear, Apple, ash, plum. So we'll make this area here into uh, another gather fruit area. Now I'm going to go way up here, hit D, 
and I'm going to hit P for gather plants. And I'm just going to select this entire region and go down a space and hit enter. So now with the K key to look around, we can see that like this uh, uh, strawberry plant is going to be harvested. Oh, you know what we forgot to do is bring more, more than one bag along. I usually like to have a whole bunch of bags, but it looks like we're going to have to make them or buy them. So I'm just watching our miner dwarf get rid of these ramps. Goblins can climb up stuff even if there's no ramp or staircase. They can just kind of climb over walls. So let's start building some stuff. Let's hit B and let's make a carpenter place like right here. Make it with some walnut wood logs. Let's make a brewery too, or a still with L. Put it right next to the carpentry place. And let's make a stockpile with the P button. Then we'll go to T and we'll enable all of this stuff that isn't corpses, refuse, or stone. Hit escape. And let's make this whole area a stockpile. Um, but does it want wood? Yeah, let's disable the wood with the D key. Escape, escape. So now our dwarves are going to be really busy. Let's, let's hit the U key. Look at what they're doing. The miner is removing stairs and ramps. The carpenter is felling trees. Mason, farmer, and brewer are storing stuff in our stockpile from our caravan. Our planter is gathering plants, and our diagnoser is fishing. So since they're fishing, let's go down here, hit B, uh, W, and the fishery is Y? No. The fishery is H. We'll just put a fishery like right here on the beach. Because until the dwarves properly clean the fish, they don't eat them, I don't think. He's going to take that little fish he caught. See him right here. Diagnoser. Let's hit the V key, which is how you view your dwarves or other units. And because this is the closest dwarf to the X right now, not sure what this little X is, but because this dwarf is the closest one, it'll show what they're doing. You're going to G key to get out of the preference tab. It says he's storing item in stockpile. Let's uh, let's hit I. It looks like there at the bottom he has got a raw soul. So a soul is a type of fish. I've never heard of it, but this game has so much content. Looks like they already stored the anvil away right here. Iron Anvil. Got some raw soul, raw bat ray, Dorver and rum, cave spider silk bag. We're gonna start moving all of our barrels and stuff. So uh, let's see, the carpentry has not been the, the carpenter workshop has not been made yet. Our still has been made though. So now we're gonna do something really cool. 
and we're going to give the dwarves a job. So I'm going to hit uh, the J key, and then I'm going to hit the M key, and then the Q key. And I'm going to put in brew, just type brew, and hit enter on this, uh, we'll hit zero for a perpetual order. So they're going to brew drinks from plants forever. And then we're going to hit Q again, brew, brew drink from fruit, also hit zero. Actually, you know what, let's hit 25. And uh, this other brew from plant, we'll hit R to remove it. Q, brew, plant, 25. And then we'll give these things some conditions. So hit C. And uh, we'll hit the plus key until it is seasonally done. And then hit escape. I think that did it. Yep. Conditions, plus key, checked seasonally. So every season, these dwarves are going to make 25 from the fruit and 25 from the plants. Hit escape, hit escape. So now if we look at our still, it doesn't have any orders yet. It's because we actually need to make one of the dwarves a manager. So let's hit the U key. Or, um, yeah, let's hit the N key instead. And we'll assign the manager. We'll make it the expedition leader. So now our still has brew drink from fruit, brew drink from plant. So we can't brew drink from fruit because we need more fruit. You hit the tab key to do that, that I just did. Hit D. And we will make our outpost. You know what, let's just dig right into the side of here. So we'll go down here. And we'll assign this right here to be dug out, uh, to be mined. Let's look up a little bit, yeah. That's a good spot for it. And we'll channel downwards. That'll make a little ramp going down into the earth. Let's follow around our miner. Let's hit the U key and then the Z key on our miner. Um, and then hit the F key to follow them. So now the little dwarf in the very center of the screen we're watching and he's carrying stuff away. But I don't want him to carry stuff away. He's getting too busy doing hauling work. We've got plenty of dwarves to do hauling work. So let's select him and hit P. And hit L. And then let's hit the minus key and go to hauling. And then we're just going to disable all this different hauling stuff. Because all dwarves have all hauling by default. So now if we follow him around... Now he's just going to be doing the mining. But 
Looks like we are tunneling into some sandy clay loam. Some sand. This is some type of stone. Let's see what type of stone this is. This is peat. Never mind. Now we're getting into the stone, I believe. So this is some limestone. So now here at the bottom of the ramp, and I'm making these three wide because caravans need three wide. And we'll just kind of make it go that way. And we'll make a little 5x5 five five area. And that's how you can have an underground trading post. Because the caravan will go up and down this ramp. And in here we can make like a bridge to block it off. I don't think that bridges can be destroyed by any creatures. There is certain buildings like the workshops that enemies can actually destroy. I'm going to remove these two ramps just because it'll make it look a little better. Actually this ramp too. So the Fisher Dwarf, I'm going to actually disable fishing on them so that they can start cleaning some of this fish. It's getting rid of all of those ramps. Looks like he missed a few, so he's going back over them. Let's just follow him around. Because he should be just about done here. Missed a few again. So now if the dwarves or other creatures want to go up and down, they have to use these ramps near my base entrance. Now he's going to start mining all of this out. Which is awesome. We're going to tunnel this way. And have some basic workshops which require a 3x3 three three space. Go back up the ramp, see what our dwarves are doing. One of them's digging, one of them has no job, one's drinking, one's gathering plants, one's drinking, no job. And the diagnoser is now preparing all of the raw fish that, we, that they've caught. This purple stuff here is from our cats. This is a large roach remain, rat remain, hamster remain, rat remain. Lizard remain, lizard remain. So we don't want that stuff. So what we're going to do is make another stockpile and put refuse into it. We'll make it right here. We'll also put corpses, enabling it with E and then escape, escape. So 
So now they'll haul all of the remains to that stockpile. And let's uh, give our carpenter something to do. Let's go to the carpenter workshop and then hit, I think it's A for a new task. Let's make some wooden barrels. We'll just hit R to repeat the task over and over again. So now our carpenter has something to do. They're going to start hauling all that wood to the carpenter base and making barrels. He's right here. And I'm actually also going to make some bins. Bin is N, so we'll hit N, and then R, and escape, escape. No, not, not escape, escape, just one escape. This is the progress of our minor dwarf so far. And they are eating right now. Now I think he's sleeping. Yep, he's sleeping. Which reminds me, we need to build some beds. So let's also go back here, hit B for bed. And uh, we're not going to have it go forever. So we're just going to hit A, B, A, B. A, B, make four beds. Let's, uh, let's make seven beds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see what our herbalist is doing. Storing items from stockpile. So instead of doing that, I'm going to turn off the hauling jobs because they've got a lot of work to do with gathering all of the plants and berries and stuff. Let's see what this farmer gets up to now. They've got no job. But they should have a job. They should be... Let's see. What are their... Let's go ahead and enable them to do plant gathering. I think our plant gatherer is somebody else. But we're going to make them also do plant gathering. Just to get it done faster. Yep, now we've got two guys doing that. So it's not that farmer, but it's this farmer. And we'll turn off the hauling jobs on them too. Which means I think we've only got like three... three. We've got four dwarves that are doing hauling. There's not a lot to haul yet. There's a, a lot of wood that we've left around. Let's go ahead and destroy our wagon now. So in order to do that, you hit Q. And then because the wagon is the closest building, it'll select that. And then we'll hit X to remove building. Because everybody's kind of gathering there right now. Let's see if anybody's removing it. Let's hit G. Doesn't look like anybody's trying to remove it yet. I think it's because it's our carpenter. Who is constructing beds at the moment. We're going to go ahead and go to the manager again, which is J 
and then M and uh, looks like they haven't done any brewing yet. It sounds like we tunneled it into something. We found some gems. Praise cluster. But yeah, I don't like those little sound effects happening every five seconds, so I'm going to go J, M, and then we're just going to remove those two with the R key, escape, escape. We've created our first masterpiece, a walnut wood barrel. Let's check out what our carpenter is doing. They made all the beds. So now if we if we hit F1, it brings us to the wagon. Let's go ahead and look down here. And we'll make this hotkey F2 and then Z. So he's almost done mining all this stuff out. We'll go ahead and construct some beds. And we'll just put them in here. Up against the walls. Let's hit B, and then W, and capital T, or uh, actually no, it's, uh, let's see, what is the Trade Depot? Trade Depot is capital D, and it's not in our workshop screen, it's in the previous one. We'll go ahead and make it out of limestone, which will mean our mason will have to put it. Our doctor is building beds. There's a couple dwarves building beds. Now they won't sleep outside. They'll sleep in a nice dwarven bed. Let's put some workshops down here. So let's put this still. We'll make it out of limestone. And to do this, I'm hitting B and then W to get to our workshop screen. And let's build a mason's workshop with M. See, what did I put here? Was it a still? I can find out with Q. Yep, still a mason. Let's build a carpenter's, which is C. Only got a couple beds left to make. Now we've just got one more, one more bed. So they made the still, they made the masons. Let's, uh, make, let's rewire our F1 key. So I press Z, or no. It's a capital H, and then it's already on F1, so you just hit Z. And now I can hit the F2 screen to go here, the F1 screen to go here. And we want to remove this carpentry and this still that we made earlier. So now the carpenter is going to remove those. Still gathering a whole bunch of plants and stuff. I 
A banneristic thag has become a herbalist. That's from picking up all of the plants. All the beds are placed. Let's see, what is this guy doing? He's sleeping. Usually they pop up with a Z on them, but I guess because... I don't know. That's weird. They usually blink Zs when they're sleeping. Item inaccessible. Oh, they're trying to move the logs, I think. But they're getting washed away by the uh, waves. I think your dwarves actually get some swimming skill from doing this. show not combat, not labor, but Minsk. Yep, they're a dabbling swimmer. So I'm going to make this area right here our meeting place. So now if Norvs have nothing to do, they'll just chill out on the beach. Summer is here. Wow, we made it to summer already. Let's go ahead and build a bridge. Let's hit B, and then G. We'll hit K to increase the size of it. And then we'll hit the S key, or no, the uh, X key. And now it'll raise and lower. We'll hit capital U, or no, it's just regular U. So now we'll have a little drawbridge right here. We'll make it out of some limestone, just because. It'll be a nice white color that really stands out. I actually don't want the fishery here anymore, I don't think. Eh, it doesn't matter. I'll just leave it for now. But it means that they're going to put all the fish in there and then walk it down to the beach. But that's okay. Is our miner up to anything? They are not. So I'm going to make the miner also do some fishing. And we'll have one person fishing and one person fish cleaning. And it's good to make the miner a fisher because, well, when they're not mining, they can do some fishing. And he is indeed fishing right now. He's a great miner. But um, you want your miners to be fishers because it increases their strength attribute. And strength is good for, like, cutting down, uh, like, mining and stuff. Um, I think they already made the bridge. They they did. So now let's go ahead and hit F2. Down here we want to build a uh, mechanics workshop, which is T. We'll make it in this room. We want to make somebody our mechanic. So let's make the mason a mechanic. P L and then down here, engineering, mechanics. Mechanics uh, build levers and traps and different things. And they also build me mechanisms at the mechanics workshop. So he's building that right now. He just built it. And I will just have him make rock mechanisms on repeat. I think it's safe for us to brew some plants from brew some drinks from plants and keep that on R. 
at the mason workshop. We'll just do nothing for now. At the carpenters, we're going to build some bins. We're going to build some... Let's build a single door. Let's build uh, barrels on repeat. And some bins on repeat. Or actually, I put build bin twice. So minus key and then cancel with C. So now the mason is constructing rock mechanisms. And we'll hit B and then capital T and then L to make a lever. But we don't have any mechanisms yet. So this will probably be the first mechanism that he makes. Yep, this is probably the first mechanism. And then he's making some more. So now we'll go back to making levers. No, still doesn't say that we have levers. But we definitely do. Subdorf is tasked with carrying it back to the sock pile. They're making some more alcohol right now. We've got about 50. Now it should be safe to make a lever. No? Still no. I'm hitting T to look at all these limestone mechanisms. We've got three different dwarfs that are hauling. He's hauling it away. Our first mechanism. I like how you can see a bit of that bridge from up above. That's cool. So now we can finally make a lever. Let's uh, make it in this room here and use one of the mechanisms to make it. We'll make that the last mechanism he makes by hitting R, so it's off a repeat. Now he's going to take that and put it in there. Let's make another door. Uh, actually, let's just make a bunch of doors. Oops. I went to the details screen on accident. Now that the lever is built, we'll hit Q and go over to our lever, add task, link up to a bridge, B, we'll hit enter, and then enter, enter to use the two mechanisms, because it requires two mechanisms to hook up something to a lever. Link building to trigger. So now he's got nothing to do. We'll have the dwarves build a door here to our lever room. That way we can lock off our lever room. Sometimes dwarves go crazy and they like to pull levers, which can be very bad. Construct wooden door. Okay. I think they already hooked up the bridge. And you can check that out by hitting T and then looking at the lever. And it indeed has two mechanisms, so you know it's hooked up to something. And then if we look at our bridge with T, you'll see that it also requires a mechanism.
somebody is constructing building and I think that that is our door Let's see what has he got in his hands go to Ivor inventory yep he's indeed hauling that door so now we've got a door here we can look at that with the K key tower cap door we can look at it with a Q key and we can say to keep tightly closed or make it pet passable actually because otherwise we'll get like cats stuck in there occasionally and we can hit L to forbid passage so nobody goes in and out of the lever room but for now we're gonna leave it alone we're gonna look at the lever with the Q key and then hit capital P to pull the lever and N to make somebody do that right now so now we're gonna get a bunch of cancellation messages because people can't get in and out of the base as you can see our bridge has been lifted go back to the lever pull it again and the bridge is down so now I've got pretty much everything inside and uh, that's all I'll record for today thank you for let's watching I'll keep let's playing peace